Hello, good morning. Welcome to the program Dialogue. It's Wednesday, midweek edition of the program, reaching you from the stables of Liberty Television, Keduna, Voice for All and Vision for All. It's Dialogue, the program that says it as it is. We bring it to you right in your sitting room, in your offices, sometimes even if you are on the move. So we tell you as it is, without fearing whose horse is God. The name is Abdel Aziz Ahmed. Kader. Well, yesterday, uh, when, the, when, when we commenced this program, I mean, we touched on happenings within the political scene. And we talked about some of the things. And the APC chairman, I mean, Abendoi, uh, topmost top, is head on approach with the Minister of, uh, uh, Minister of Labor and uh, Productivity, talking about Dr. Chris Ngige, and reading the riot act to him. Well, that seems to have re-echoed in so many places. Talking about re-echoing in so many places, I'm sure you saw what happened yesterday. It started with the rumor of the blockage of the uh, motorcade of the Senate President, Abu Bakr Bukola Saraiki, by just uh, a saloon car, one at the front. And one was asking, could the contingent of policemen attached to the Senate President be stopped by one saloon car in front of them. Let's assume that saloon car actually had ambrobas in them, disguised as policemen. Well, the convoy will have just stood by and been looking and calling for help and say they've stopped, they've been stopped from moving. Why do we have our securities attached to, I mean, VIPs? Well, let's leave that. But at least yesterday the police came out and said they never did what they did, what they were alleged to have done. For the Deputy Senate President, of course, it came again when he raised an alarm. But at the end of the day, police said they were not the one. It was actually the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. That has to do with, it has to do with the issue of money laundering, where the Deputy Senate President's name, I mean, uh, appeared in so many places. Well, uh, like I said, or like we said, when the issue of uh, a Code of Conduct Tribunal came up, said, look, Anytime anybody accuses you of anything, just go there, clear your name. If it means going to court, go to court, clear your name. And, but again, we are not in support of using state, coercive state apparatus to actually witch hunt anybody. And we hope at the end of the day, the right thing will be done. But talking about the Senate, well, there seems to be a lot of... Uh, 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 I, I don't know, I don't know, I don't want to use that military word, but then... How did the Senate president made it to the National Assembly? That remains a topic that I'm sure for the, for, the, for the days ahead we will be talking about. But who knows? The Senate president himself might tell us the way he actually made it to the National Assembly. Remember what happened when Tembual and, uh, and his deputy then, uh, when the, 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 the powers that be didn't want them to emerge as the speaker and deputy speaker. We, stopped, we saw Tembual for the first time. In the South South, upper, up, I mean, <laughs> uh, 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 outfit, he appeared from no, nowhere. Nobody could say how he sneaked into the uh, lower chamber. The same thing with his uh, deputy then, uh, who came out in captain and, and, and camp. So uh, there seems to be another. What all the. But well, that is not for us to say. But again, that brings to mind the issue of uh, Omo Agege. How did this, those thugs who snatched the base made their way to the National Assembly? Probably there is a route that the security agents are yet to uncover into the National Assembly. But the days ahead will tell. Well, yesterday you saw gale of defection in the National Assembly. 14 senators. Initially we were meant to understand 15. But at the end of the day, one of them came out. The senator from, uh, from um, uh, one of the senators, Senator Soji Akombi, came out and said he never defected. So how did his name made it to that list? That remains an issue. Again, the 14 that defected, is not all of them that defected to the PDP, as announced by the Senate President. Uh, the same thing with House of Representatives, where you have 36 of them defecting. The Speaker announced that the 36 of them defected to the PDP. But let me place it on record that it's not the 36 of them. Let's start from the Senate before introducing uh, our guest this morning. We had a total defection of 14 and not 15. Like I said earlier, Senator Soji Akambi said he never defected. He still remains in APC. So uh, we had 14 who defected. So going by that defection, as it stands today, 
as against the fake news you have going, of course, that word again, fake news, uh, the APC have 53 senators. The PDP have 48 senators, minus Kashamu, who was uh, suspended from the party. So add Kashamu to read, you get 49. But as it is, Kashamu is not a member of the PDP. So that leaves PDP with 48. Uh, APC, uh, I've talked about APC, yes. Then Abga have two senators, Senator Ume and Stella Odua, who, actually, who also left from the PDP to Abga. The ADC have two senators, Senator Murtala, Abdelaziz Murtala Inyaku and uh, Senator Sumonu, who were among those who defected yesterday. Then we have two vacant seats. Of course, you remember the senators that died, one from Bauchi and one from Katina. So when you put 48, 53, 2, 2, 2, that's 6 together, that will give you a total of 109. That is as it stands today. So the APC is still uh, a majority in the National Assembly, in the, I mean, the, in, in, the, in the Senate. Uh, when you go to House of Reps, we had total defection of 36 yesterday. Uh, 32 of them actually left for PDP. Uh, and the rest people left for uh, from PDP to APC, and four from PDP to uh, ADC. Well, it might interest you to know that we have 10 from Kanu, uh, six from Kwara, three from Benue, three from Kaduna, five from Sokoto, one from Jigawa, Bauchi, Koji, Ondo, Oyo, Rivers, Lagos, each. Then one again from Benue is yet undecided. Uh, he has not moved to any political uh, party. So that is as it is today. So the APC still remains majority in both uh, lower and uh, 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 upper legislative uh, chamber. You can have, I mean, on the screen there, you have uh, the pictures of some of those who defected uh, from the upper legislative chamber. You can see there, Kwankoso is leading uh, the team, <laughs> at least on the screen, I, I would say, from the pictures you are seeing there. So you have from Kwankoso uh, down there to Murchala Inyako, to uh, Banabas Gemade, to Hunkui in Keduna, uh, to Nazif and uh, Nafada, uh, of course, the man who everybody, I mean, for long, everybody knew would live, uh, Dino Milai. Uh, then you have, second to the last picture there, you have uh, Tenju Osho, who said he was yet to decide which of the parties to go to. On that note, I introduce our uh, resource people this morning, our guests this morning from my immediate right, we have somebody who has never moved neither to, a, a, to, a, to PDP, to NPDP, or to RAP. So he has been a member of PDP and has been and remains a member of PDP. This morning we have with us Denjuma Seriki. Denjuma. It's my pleasure. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Abdullah. Yeah. And well, good morning, our viewers. Next to him is uh, another person who is a member of APC, not RAPC or, or any other. Uh, faction of the APC. Well, the APC will even tell you they don't have a faction. Talking about Umar Yaro Abdullah. Umar, good morning. Thank you for having me. All right. Good morning. I, I was worried earlier when I didn't see you. I, I thought you defected <laughs> to Abuja. So, let's <laughs> uh, let, let, let me start with you. Yesterday we saw a gale of defection, but again, this is not new. We saw this similar thing happen in 2014. And like the uh, APC chairman said yesterday, and look, or the president himself, I said, look, we are not worried. At times like this, this kind of things happen. So we are not worried. But for people within the polity, we've seen the same people who did the same thing to PDP, which led to the loss of PDP, now doing the same thing or similar thing to the APC, and moving to the party, your party, which they call all sorts of names before now. How are we sure these people prior to election, especially with the shutting down, if I can use that, of the National Assembly, uh, the Senate especially, by the time the Senate will resume, probably primaries will be in the, in, in the, in, in the office, will be ongoing. How are we sure that those people will not come close to the primaries again, or at the, the primaries and come and say, no, we never defected, and do the same thing to the PDP? Uh, good morning, uh, viewers. Uh, first and foremost, I would say yesterday, was a good day for democracy. Mm. Yesterday was a good day for the strengthening and deepening of our democracy and party politics in Nigeria. I want to say categorically 
that uh, it's so sad that sometimes when the government, the APC and the government of Muhammad Buhari tell you that uh, rain is falling, it will be better for you to go out and ensure that the rain touches you. Because I know the same President Muhammad Buhari sometimes back when the MPDP were trying to see that they find a solution so that they can habitually settle whatever grievances they had. And they met with the Vice President, uh, Professor Yemi Osimba then, who promised them that when the President comes back, he's going to see them and they're going to discuss for them. But when the President came back, he now told them that, no, don't worry me, I'm not going to talk to anybody, go and meet the party, the party are here. That one went, nothing happened, and eventually, when the RAPC was formed, everybody heard and saw uh, the new uh, APC chairman, Comrade Adam Sashumole, who came out equally and said he would not lose sleep. Just like so he said just yesterday. Like he said yesterday. Yeah. So I want to tell you that these two people, I don't think Nigerians should always take the words that come out of their mouth with so much seriousness. One, President Buhari was the one who called Saraki and his people to sit down with them together with APC governors to beg them to stay in the party. Is it actually begging? Yes, he did. Yes, he begged them and even gave them, was even trying to meet some of the conditions they gave. About to okay? go Saraki That's came out and said that was not what happened. I'm just telling you <laughs> uh, what happened. Okay. <laughs> then again, the same Buhari invited Konkoso again and sat down with him and was practically going on his knees to beg him to please stay. You know? And again, the same other Moshumale who said he will not lose sleep over Abu Bagaladima or APC, not only lost sleep, but he lost the juicy part of sleep. Because at 2 a.m., I believe anybody who is sleeping, that is the time where you change to high gear so that you sleep maybe by 4 or 5 o'clock, yeah, you, you wake up. And nights. eventually, that's, but he said he will not lose sleep, mm. but eventually he went to his place at 2 a.m. And because, you know, he lacks this level of... Uh, That's what I mean, talking I'm about, trying to say... It, yes, no, talk, to talking say. about that. Yes. Because we saw what happened yeah. when the NPDP was formed. Mm. We saw what happened then when the national leadership, mm. neither the presidency, actually made effort to actually say, don't go, mm. come back. I mean, th isn't that what we saw... At APC now doing and say, look, we have to reach out to these members. We didn't need not to allow them go. You know Isn't what? That the right move that, to make that was the right rule. But why would you first and foremost come and uh, disregard them and call them all sorts of names? You understand me? And ignore them and in a lot of ways try to disparage them before Nigeria. When then you now shamelessly and without I even remorse, I will take that okay. <laughs> but, we, but without even any remorse, come out and still follow the same people and begging them. You understand me? Okay. If you know the right thing to do as a politician, right from time, whenever an issue comes up, mm. address it headlong. Okay? There's nothing bad mm. in you, even following one member who is not even known as a national figure or something. Follow him if you want to leave your party. Try to beg him, let him understand and see reason. But right. not for that, you to that, come that, all of a sudden I'll, and I'll, I'll begin to, to show as if he's not I'll important and later you. But, but we can say go it's back on record. Meet you. You can, we you can know? say it's on record mm. that the national leadership actually made move to actually bring these people back. That was after attacking them the move and disparaging the move them, bad. calling them all sorts of names. All right. Okay? Uh, all right. Let me come to you. Because I know some of the complaints that were raised concerned Oyogo's leadership, Oyogo's this, Oyogo's that, and what have you, things like that. We saw the coming of Oshobani. Yes, he said he would not lose sleep. Yes, we had the president, even yesterday in the statement, he said, look, I, I, I don't have any problem. These people don't have any problem with me as the president. They don't have problem with the presidency. Whatever problem they had, we allow the party to actually reconcile the problems, and the party made effort to, to reconcile that. But here we saw them moving. Now, the issue is, how long are we going to see politicians crisscross from one political party to the other? And especially with the move by the APC to see that at least they bring them back on fold, but they refuse to. Let's take a quick break. When we come back, you answer that question. Please remain with us. Close.
I like a good meal, a good movie, great music. They reflect who you are, what you feel at the moment, and where you are going. You gotta have style that helps you get down the stairs. A style that helps you get up in the morning. It's a way of life as a parent is a delectable manner that makes you distinctive. At Zara Mall, we have wares that makes you remember all that is beautiful about life. Wares for ladies, gents and kiddies that transform body language and attitudes. Also, styles that lifts you physically and emotionally. At Zara Mall, your outlook is our art. Your clothes in and out. Your glasses. Footwears, belts, ties, caps, hats, wristwatches, necklaces, handbags, and many more at what we offer all year round from top designers of styles you need. Zara Mall, located at number 14 East Afeta Road, opposite Gerkua Hospital, Kaduna, or call 080 3314 6276 or 081 5415 At Zara Mall, you enjoy 50% discount on every item from 16th to July 2018. Sarah Mall, the styles you desire so much. It's new. It's here. It's premium entertainment for everyone. From August 1st, get popping every day with Ebony Life TV. Mondays are from Nollywood. Tuesdays are from novellas. The next generation have a blast on Wednesdays. Thursdays are for drama. Fridays are there to excite you and binge every weekend. Thank you for being there. The program is Dialogue, and this morning we are looking at the gale of defections at the National Assembly. And our guest this morning, we have two APC, one APC member and one PDP member. Mind you, I didn't say NPDP or RAPC. I said PDP and APC. Of course, we would have loved to reach some senators, but all of a sudden, I mean, we spoke with some, I don't want to mention their names, uh, but all of a sudden this morning, their numbers are switched up. We, some of them promise that we can actually reach them via phone. Well, uh, as it is, we know the National Assembly is on, is on recession, so let's leave that. Or, I, I asked a question before that break. Should we be having these defections at this time concerning the move made by the party, AP, APC, to see that uh, issues raised by these people uh, are resolved? You see, absolutely, you're going to have that. Okay. Um, part of the reasons why I always get entertained when I have people like this here mm. is People they like Ben Juma. Ben Juma, they mm. say half truths and lies all over. What is half truth in what you Because first and foremost, yes. what Adam Koshumone said was, I will dialogue with stakeholders, but not people that are inconsequential. Why? Because there are people that, even from 2015, they have not been participating in party activities. Okay. So you know you even have to check whether they are still APC or PDP. So he will not dialogue with those people. Mm. But he will dialogue, dialogue with stakeholders. He mentioned that. He never said uh, all of them should go and will not lose sleep. That is not true. PDP wants democracy and dictatorship at the same time. You cannot eat your cake and have it. You cannot tell the president to practice democracy. Once he's doing that, you tell him no. You shouldn't. Any party issue, any uh, all politics is local. He said it yesterday. All politics is local. And what these people have are issues with their state governors, their, their stakeholders in their wards. Or, so the party should be able to handle that. You should be able to allow the party to handle that. Do you want us to go back to the Obasan time where he wakes up in the morning and say, hey, I have changed party chairman. I don't want to change seven to eight party chairmen in a single dispensation. It's madness. We will not do that because what we want to practice is democracy. 
for the senators, a lot of times when election comes, you see alignment, realignment, and things like this. And we will not, we will not stop having this unless we have people with ideologies in parties, people that want to work for the masses, not people that are self-centered, people that want to work for themselves, people that want to benefit only. Because these are the same amount of people, when you look at them, that left PDP. And they simply left PDP then because they saw that PDP was a sinking ship. So, now, so most is, of is them... APC no, let me, let me tell you the difference. Okay. I will tell you there is a big difference. Now they are leaving APC because they know party structures within their own locality is out of their hands. It is the same Konkoso that came to APC and drove Marlon Shekaro from APC. And it is the same Konkoso today that Ganguje is driving him from APC. Going back to his sinking ship, the sinking ship that he said he will never go to. People that they keep apologizing. You see, what is what 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 is told me is PDP keep apologizing that look, we know we have done bad. If truly PDP have done bad, why are you going to PDP? If you know you have people, why don't you form another party? Uh, Move uh, to that party. Uh, 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 we'll come to some of these issues, some of these individuals involved. Uh, let, let me come to you then, Juma. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, Nigerians are worried. Because, like, like, I mean, if you are on social media yesterday, uh, uh, yesterday night till around 2 a.m., I followed, I mean, I go to the Twitter and do a lot. Some of the people who defected, and I see the reactions even from their constituents. Mm -hmm. And it's something that, if I were a politician, will give me a cause for worry. But the common man on the street is saying, look, these people have taken us for granted and never again. I thought, shouldn't even PDP itself be worried? Because I've seen in some states where PDP will say, this person, we won't accept him back because of what he or she has done to our party in the past. Shouldn't PDP be worried with this gale of defection? Especially considering what some of them said about the same party when they were leaving the party in the past. Uh, Abdul, there's no how PDP would be worried. Mm -hmm. You cannot be harvesting a fortune mm -hmm. and still be sad. Is it actually worried? harvesting a fortune? Absolutely, it's harvesting okay. a fortune. Mm -hmm. You understand? A PDP is a party that is very sincere. It's all, mm -hmm. and it's an honorable party. If it makes mistake, it will come out and, uh, uh, and agree that it has made mistake. Mm -hmm. If it needs to apologize, well, apologize. Unlike the APC today, that you find out that they are group uh, uh, breeding crop of people who lack integrity. And when I want to let you now, understand. Now, now the issue is this. One thing I want to let you understand. I want us to look at these issues from a national perspective. That is what I'm trying to do. do, 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 do you but get it's it? good whenever you are making a presentation. Yes. You should lay some foundation so that people will understand. But what will you so say one thing to I want you to understand. One thing I want you to understand. We don't care now about political parties. But we are our concern are individuals. And we are seeing individuals who have some of them have changed like four, five, six political parties yeah. in the past how many years? I mean, shouldn't that worry even political I parties? I believe anybody who has changed uh, political parties, yes. like he changes his clothes, mm. then that person, the people should actually look at the reason why he leaves those parties. And if they believe that that reason is not justifiable, mm. then he should face the consequences. But in a matter of this uh, Saraki and the rest of them, mm. the uh, people, we are humans. We are bound to make mistakes. Okay, if they have left the PDP before because they feel they were not satisfied or they were ill-treated or whatever, not the APC, uh, listen to me. I'm telling him him and his group, <laughs> okay, the, or the RAPC, mm. if they had left the PDP before because they felt dissatisfied, and now they realize that where they went to, the PDP is even far, far better than it. If they come back, we as human, we are not God. Even God, in his infinite mercy, have, had, had always have mercy on us. And whenever we sin against him, every day we pray and ask for his forgiveness. So who are we humans? More so, it has become like a kind of characteristics of our Nigerian uh, politics, okay? So uh, it's not that they have led PDP to another political party, to another political party, before they come back. No, they have led PDP to APC, and now they realize that APC is far, far worse than PDP. And they have come back. PDP must embrace them. Oh, oh, well, and I want to just tell you that this is just the first batch of defection. All right, we are waiting for more. And let me let's, establish let's, this again. Yes. I want you to understand that in Nigeria, it has become a known and clear thing 
that the APC has failed Nigerians in all ramifications. That, that's your and yes, uh, that's, you are not the one talking, I'm the all one talking. Right, right, okay, and let me tell you again. Hold on, I'll still come back to you. Well, let's, let's take these issues. Because when we talk about these issues, individuals are involved. Now, we talked about Kanu. Let's take Kanu for instance. From 1999, when Rabiu Engineer Rabiu Musa Konkosu won his election, we saw 2003 when he couldn't win his re-election. And we saw Shekaro came and spent two terms. We saw in 2007, uh, 2007, yes, when he came back, as, as, as governor, again, uh, we saw the kind of politics Engineer Musa Rabi Konkoso played in Kanu. Then he, we know the slogan was Sama Al-Kalemi Kasa Lema. He never worked for the PDP at national level. He came, we saw what happened. But again, talking about the same Rabi Musa Konkoso, we saw when the reason why he left uh, PDP, because Shekaro then allegedly went to PDP. He decided to leave that himself and Shekaro cannot be in the same party. Now we saw the same Shekaro in PDP, and we saw Konkoso now going back to APC, where some people have even alleged that Shek uh, Konkoso said he cannot be in a party where Shekaro will be the party leader. But as it is, we know in Kanu today, Shekaro is the PDP uh, party leader. But here we, here we are today again. See, do you think these two people could coexist? But to add to that, we see in Sokoto, for instance, Wamako refused to defend. We know the weight of Wamako in Sokoto. We saw in Gombe. Um, Goje refused to defect. I mean, we can go across those states like that. What statement does this make? You see, it's a, it's a, it's a very big statement, absolutely. Why? Because... Of course, let me even add that in Kaduna, we saw Shou Usadi refused to defect. Refused to leave. Why? Yes. Because, you see, why PDP is celebrated? Mm. Because the Constitution, I think the Supreme Court, mm. has clearly defined what a function is okay. in a party. Mm. There has to be a clear structural faction. Mm. And now, what they are claiming is a faction is RAPC. RAPC has never called itself a faction. Mm. But they said they are reformist within the party. So they are not a so faction. They are not a faction. Mm. So you cannot use the RAPC as a faction to move. Going by the president. Going by of the judge. president of the Supreme Court. So, okay. So what PDP are celebrating is we have people coming that will use their resources, campaign, mm. and if we win certain seats, mm. we take them to court, and our legitimate PDP people will be given those positions. Okay. Because these people moving now are moving illegally. And that is why you see Sanaki not moving. You see Dogara not going. You see Dangumu Mogoje not going. Because these people realize that, look, for us to do this, we have to do it right. We cannot follow people like Bulga and Adima that are not even getting it right. Because they refuse to mention themselves as a faction of APC and form a structure that will make them become a faction. Mm -hmm. But they are claiming we are still in APC and we are just reformists within the party. So constitutionally, they, what they are even doing is illegal. Secondly, you mentioned the issue of um, Konkoso. You see, these are people that lack integrity. I'm sorry to say, these are people that, these are people that um, are selfish. Okay, let me use the word selfish. Why? Because they work for themselves. They don't work for the masses. You understand? Even when he came in second term, he was using the same general, Muhammad Buhari, saying we should go for another party up, we should go, then we should do Konkoso. In fact, that itself in every party is, constru is considered as uh, anti-party. Activity. Yes, an anti-party activity. And PDP even then should have removed them from the party because that is uh, anti-party. And these are the same people today that left PDP telling you that, okay, this party is corrupt. It is simply because they do not hold the ground. But, 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 wait, okay, still, still, still on that, before I come to the Ndiwa, uh, it said that within political scene, losing even one person, however inconsequential, should worry uh, any political party. Absolutely. But we had the president and even the party chairman saying they can't lose sleep over those people who are going. We keep hearing this word, inconsequential. Is there anybody who is not who is inconsequential? Absolutely not. It? Let me tell you what um, Oshumone is saying and the president. Mm. Even if you lose somebody that is just only going to come and vote for you, mm. you will feel bad. 
because politics is a game of numbers. Number. But in a situation where you try to negotiate with people, where you try to dialogue with people, and they are bringing demands that you cannot fulfill, when somebody is telling you you have to give him unopposed tickets, how can you, in a democracy, give somebody unopposed tickets? When the people are supposed to decide who they want, in fact, our own primaries is going to be what we call um, A4. Option A4. Option A4. The, people, primary. the masses are going to queue and choose who they want. All right. All so right. how can we give you a, a, a ticket based on you being a bourgeois? Yeah, but we saw we that happen not. in 2014 with the same APC. We have where people who defected less than. I mean, we saw Autumn who defected from PDP that is, within that days. Is, that, was is, that, is, that, that wasn't a, that was a consensus ticket. All right. People are are you saying we are not going to have a consensus in twenty in twenty in twenty in twenty? Absolutely. What we are going to have is 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 is, is direct primary. Oh, all right. Uh, all, all right. Because time is fast. Uh, what, now. Tina, that, what that, I want to say yes. is that I don't want my friend here to confuse people about section sixty eight, subsection one, paragraph B of also of the constitution mm. that talks about defection. Defection. Yes, that paragraph clearly states that you can only defect and not lose your seats. If they, if are they are factual. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you what has happened with the RAPC. RAPC is not only claiming a faction, it's claiming to be the legitimate leadership of the party. Because one, it has written to INEC for INEC not to recognize the Adam Oshimole led APC. It has Anec's taken response? them to the court. INEC has not responded yet. <laughs> okay, that's and again, that's it has taken Let me establish this. INEC, again, the same RAPC has taken them to APC. Can we, can and we they, have, they have their zonal leader, national no, leadership, zonal leadership, they is, have their state leadership, and this is absolutely not so over. But one thing I want to let you know is that it's so sad. No, we are talking about you brought the issue. Yes, and we have to make this clear. And he tried to mislead the government. So it's good for us to put this case. And that is why I quoted the section of the Constitution that talked about that. And again, the line for the viewers to be part of the program. Omar, please, can you hold on? What will you say to people who will say the direct primaries mm -hmm. introduced by the APC is what is scaring these people away? Because they know they, they, they cannot use their deep pockets to now pay a delegate to get them to be candidates at the end of the day. And that is why they are running to somewhere. Let me tell you, if APC says it's going to do direct primaries, mm -hmm. Is the height of deception. But we saw that because we saw, Tuesday. yes, you know, what, what is the consequences? And what was the outcry? Because what? The members of this state, the people who contested there, mm -hmm. several, how many of them withdrew before the contest? Because they said, one, they have no credible register. And they have not seen the register published that is going to involve the election. And again, that the election was, was marred with a lot, by a lot of malpractices. So there's no how they will tell you. And the same government favored candidate, is any who perfect, is the cousin of Tunibu and the chief of staff of the, uh, of the government, Nigeria, is was the perfect election? There's no perfect election, there's no perfect election but there's credible election. All okay? right, let's and the credibility of election is determined by the processes let's, let's that is being followed. And right, one of the processes in any option here for is for you to publish the register of voters so that everybody will know if there are issues and just Voters or party members. Yes, they are the voters. They are the voters. All right. All right. Party well, members let's, are the let's, voters. Hold on. let's uh, open the lines for our, view, um, our viewers to be part of the program. Okay, the numbers are already on the screen and the lines are already buzzing. We have our first caller. Hello, good morning. Welcome to the program. Your name or where you're calling from? I'm Comrade Anasi, calling from Benin. Brendan Kebi. All right. Anasi, thank you for joining us. Go ahead. Yes. You see, you can fool all at one time, mm. but you cannot fool one. Everybody person. all the time. Mm. You know the reason why these defectors are defective? Okay. It's because of their purpose. It's because of their personal aggrandizement. We teach them a lesson from 2019. All of them will teach them a lesson from 2019, inshallah. All right, I'll ask you. God willing, mm. will show them a way out of their own seat. Mm. May God continue to bless our country. Amen. Thank you, Anashi Dur from Brendan Kirby. I hope you have your APC, because that's the only way uh, your, what is it called? Probably Hello. PVC, I mean. Hello, good morning. Hello. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Uh, please, when you call in, keep the volume of your TV set down so that we can hear you clearly. Hello, good morning. 
Good morning. Welcome to the program. Yes, I'm from Abdullah, you're from? From Jos. From Jos. All right, Abdullah, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Yes. To the best of my knowledge, I think why these people are expecting from APC to PDP mm. is because of their personal their personal interest in democracy. Okay. Yes. Because they are they are trying to to, to have their own their their own personal uh, personal interest mm. in the APC. All right, Abdullah. I have another caller here. Hello, good morning. Uh oh, that caller dropped. Please, when you call in, uh, when we pick, if you can hold on, especially when another person is speaking, uh, it will be nice so that we don't lose you. Hello, good morning. Hello. Good morning. Please, when you call in, keep the volume of your TV set down so that we can actually get you. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the program. Good morning. Welcome to the program. Good morning. Thank you. The name and where you're calling from? Idris from Niger State. Uh, I didn't get the name. I had Niger. Idris. Idris okay, Idris Niger from Niger. Idris, go ahead. Go ahead, Idris. We can hear you. Yes. I think they are right because the APC wants to deny them their rights. That is why they should come from APC to PDP. What are those rights, um, Idris? Secondly, not only for the problems in Nigeria, but they want to, they want to contest those ones. Did you actually have that That's promise right. uh, somewhere, yes. uh, Hello. Idris? Hello, Idris. Yes, go ahead. I said that the moment that is a promise in Nigeria that we come just one. Um, that's the allegation. Do you actually have that promise, uh, Idris? It's not an allegation. It's the best part that everybody knew. That is why they match to me. Uh, all right. All right. Uh, I think you made your point there. Another caller here. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Yes, welcome to the program. Thank you, sir. Your name and where you are calling I from? To, hello? Your name and where you are calling from? Hello? Hello, we are with you. We can hear you. Tell us your name and where you are calling from. I'm calling from Jeff. My name is Innocent from Jeff. Okay, Innocent. All right, go ahead, Innocent. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. Are you sir? We are with you. Go ahead. What I'm saying is that this uh, election is, is not the problem. The problem is their mind. Let them change their mind. Okay. Hello. We are with you. Um, in innocent. I think innocent. You okay? Hello. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Welcome to the program. Fine, thank you. Thank you for joining us. Go ahead. Your name or where you're calling from? My name is Suleiman, officer from Jos. Suleiman from Jos. Suleiman, go ahead. Yes. Well, what I wanted to say is that about this election, mm. because, our, because our prayers have been selected. Your prayers have been answered. How? Because we are praying for those people that they are causing problems in Nigeria with the APC. Mm. We just reveal them. And we see them now. Let's leave it there. Hello, good morning. Oh, oh, that caller dropped. Please, when you call in and we picked you and another person is talking, if you can hold on fine so we don't lose you. I know the traffic is high. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Welcome to the program. Your name or where you're calling from? Hello, good morning. Good morning. We can hear you loud Hello, and clear. Good morning. Good morning, sir. 
Good morning. Go ahead. I'm Simon from Mango. From Mango Plateau State. All right, go ahead. I'm Simon from Mango Plateau State. Go ahead, go ahead. We can hear you. I must feel that uh, the deception, that people feel that. Uh... Hello, Simon. Uh oh, Simon dropped that. Hello, good morning. Hello. Yes, good morning. Hey, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine. All right. Uh, I want to talk about the the division of our members. Even though we don't know who is talking. Okay, you are talking with Guzman Mohamed. From? Uh, am I clear? You are clear, Usman. All right, go ahead, Usman. In, uh, their detection is in order. Okay. Yes. Hello. We, we are with you. Go ahead. The, their detection is in order because APC failed in, in, in their, their promises. They promised heaven and earth. Killing. Mm. Killing all over Nigeria now. So, uh, the, 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 uh, 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 all right. Uh, I think you made your point. Let's take this last caller. Hello. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Yes, uh, quickly, you'll be our last caller. Okay. Hi, my name is Abubakar Imam. Abubakar Imam, all right, calling from? Okay, my name is Abubakar Imam from Abuja. All right, go ahead, Abubakar Imam. Kari, really, we are very happy with this decision, massive decision yesterday. Why? Because we massive that voted them definitely, we are waiting for them. Are you with us? Okay. We are really waiting for them. Definitely, in 2019, we are going to... We are going to work. They will not go back to this uh, house or anything to go sell it again. Why? Because they are not giving any protection to the Mr. President there. Therefore, our prayers and let's answer our prayers. And we pray for all that to bring them into power. Our, our, our intention, we are thinking that dignity is going to give protection from Mr. President to achieve his, uh, his, his promises. But okay. they are fighting him. Therefore, I'm not going to meet with them in Thank you, Mr. Kari. All right. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Anyway, by way of rounding up, mm -hmm. because we are already mm -hmm. out of time, mm -hmm. I mean, let me give you 15 seconds. Okay. Uh, yeah, APC said the campaigns have little electoral value. Mm -hmm. What would you say about that? Before I say that, please, I want you Nigerians to know that you are Buhari out is the time. grandmaster of deflection. He then, then left are, AMPP. Then, then he went to CPC, from CPC to APC. He's not only the grandmaster of uh, defection, but of destruction of political parties. AMPP that, died, that, CPC that died, a, just for thing. him to achieve his ambition. And I want to so say so that anybody who ACL. said that the defectors have do not have, li they have little help, then why are you disturbed? Why are you worried? And let me tell you, these defectors, whether you like it or not, they are not defecting for their personal interest. They are defecting for the interest of the people they lead. All right, let's because the people so are the not people satisfied, the and the people would decide at the end of the the PDP said, the PDP assuring the campaigns of equal treatment. <laughs> I mean, that is a big joke. Why do you think it's a big joke? Because even the PDP are not giving themselves, within themselves, equal treatment. Okay. So how can they give somebody that is coming from somewhere equal treatment? PDP is a government we all know is, is a party that is disloyal, dishonest. We can't even trust anybody in PDP. So you don't trust Anjuma? How can I trust Anjuma when, 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 when he has been saying half <laughs> lies? You saw how that my friend here in 2014 over, he over, was celebrating over, for Kong so no. and uh, uh, Zedra Ki and Dresor of course today he's getting it. 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 Thank you very much for your time this morning. Well, there you are. That is the size of the program this morning. Politicians might defect from one party to the other, change as the way people change their own this, but that is not a problem. You, the electorate, have the final say. With your PVC, you will decide who will go back to where and who will not go back. And you can only do that when you have your PVC and on the day of election, try to exercise the patience for that whole day and exercise your civic responsibilities. Until you do that, the politicians will keep changing political parties. Nigerian politicians we are talking about. Abdul Aziz Ahmed Kadri, thank you for investing your time with us. Whatsoever you do, please think Nigeria first. God bless Nigeria. Good morning.